a Canadian Radio Sanctuary podcast. Our guest is executive and artistic director of the Harrison Festival Society, involved, of course, uh, heavily with the uh, Harrison Festival, which is on every July in Harrison Hot Springs, and it's Andy Hillhouse. And what have you got in store for us this year, Andy? Well, this is actually our 45th Harrison Festival of the Arts, so it's 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 an anniversary. It would be, I guess, our 46th, except we all had to take a year off for you know reasons we all know. But uh, yeah, we've got... In honor of that, we have some people coming back that are kind of some well-known names like Harry Manx. We've got Locarno, who's been here a bunch of times. We've got Barney Bentall, who's been here before with Bentall Taylor Ulrich. He's been here with the High Bar Gang. This is a show he's got that's just uh, it's actually going to feature him and his son, Dustin Bentall, who's a great singer-songwriter in his own right, and his partner, Trixie. So it's going to be a trio um, I think it's going to be a great intimate evening of Barney's songs. He's a rancher and has had this interesting life and written a lot about that, as well, of course, as being uh, people associated with being uh, for with his hits in the 90s, right, mm-hmm. with uh, the legendary hearts. But he's kind of gone on to more of an acoustic singer-songwriter. But as well as those well-known people, we've got tons of music in the hall and on the beach that is internationally renowned, but maybe a little less familiar to people that I really encourage people to check out and take take a chance on coming to hear because it's a lot of great music, a lot of variety of genres. The dates uh, for it are July 12th through 21. So as usual, it starts on a Friday evening, correct? Yeah, this year's a little bit, it's officially the festival does start on Friday. We don't have a Friday concert this year or anything like that. Some years we've had a film, some years we've we've done a concert, but we're starting with a launch of a, our art exhibit on Friday night. So there'll be a reception here at 7 p.m. And that's kind of the, the soft launch of the festival. Uh, there'll be no music that night. Part of it's because we actually have music in the hall. This is a new thing on Monday night instead of the literary cafe. The literary element we're putting more into workshop form. A writer named Abriana, Abriana Leeming who's going to do a workshop for budding writers in the hall on the first Saturday. The Monday night is when we have Locarno. So because we've moved that concert night there into the Monday night, it's selling quite well. We're just leaving that Friday just for the reception. So the major launch, if you will, is Saturday, July 13th. Opening ceremony at uh, noon. Yep. I remember last year the uh, stayless welcome was wonderful. Yes, and they'll be back. Yep. Uh, as we, whenever they're available, we get the Sasquatch dancers, and we're really uh, happy that they'll be coming back. Yep. Yeah. So what do we have here th- as we look at the Saturday and we go through the events? Yeah. You know, we, as always, we have concerts on the beach on the weekends. Same format as we've had for many years from basically one until it ends at six o'clock. Then folks move into the hall. This year, if you're a returning person, take note of the time of the evening shows. We've moved them a little bit earlier, uh, both on the beach during the week and also all week long in the hall because we're noticing that folks, you know, it can get a little late when shows start at 8.30. Some of our audience is, you know, getting a little bit older and I think appreciate that those early, we found that in the, in the season shows. We moved those earlier and we'd be getting more people out. So we put the, the shows to 8 p.m. instead of 8.30. But we've got like the, you know, the first day we're starting with the North Shore Fiddle Orchestra. It's a, it's a group fiddle ensemble of uh, kids. So starting with the youth there. Um, that should be really fun and energetic. Uh, we're moving on to a, a, an indigenous bluesman, Murray Porter. We've got a group from Mexico called Buen Rostro. That's very energetic. And they do a mixture of sort of folk, you know, and traditional Mexican rhythms and stuff with contemporary. And they're a big band on the little stage. It's going to be fun. And then we're finishing the day with Carl Luft, who's a great folk singer. Um, and then moving into the hall with uh, that evening with a Zydeco guy, Curly Taylor, who's, who's um, from Louisiana and is an accordion player and from a, a, a lineage of Zydeco music. So that'll be great dance music. So all week long, you know, that's kind of the format. 
And some of the other shows during the week, I'd love to point out to folks. I mean, I'd love to point out everything, but uh, just some of the, maybe some highlights to draw to people's attention are uh, Wednesday the 17th in the hall, Catherine Tickell and The Darkening. And she's from Northeast England. And really, I encourage people to check her out. She's a phenomenal musician. Her whole band are great musicians that are rooted in traditional music, but do very interesting contemporary arrangements. And what's unique about her is her music, her traditional music is from, like she's what we people affectionately call a Geordie. She's from the Northeast of England. Her music is from that region and there aren't many people who specialize in that. And she's well known there. She's played on records by Sting and Alan Parsons and stuff, but check her out. And then on the Friday night, sort of in that traditional music vein as well from Scotland, we've got Shugal Nifty. And they're also a returning act to Harrison. They're sort of like very groovy Scottish traditional music. One of the first groups that mixed traditional music with contemporary kind of dance grooves. Great name. Yeah, Shugal Nifty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's Highland dance music, but, you know, very funky. So check that out in the hall. Cairo on the Thursday night is a flamenco group in the hall. Gosh, there's just so much stuff all week. Who else can I point out? We've got evening of theater this year. So we're going to, as always, we have an evening of theater. We're kind of going back. It's been a few years since we've had the youth involved in the evening of theater. And this is really going to be kind of a celebration of young theater in Chilliwack with SOPA, the Chilliwack School of Performing Arts. They're doing a production of the Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon, where they run through many, many Brothers grim tales within the 45 minutes a very funny kids are great they're all very young they're they're between the ages of i think 10 and 15 mm. but they do a fantastic yeah. job and it's, the production is really good and then we move on to the ufe students so we've got a kind of a dramatic show there and a humorous show that are both half an hour long so it's going to be a great evening of theater you know, in general, you know, as always, I want to point out too, when you go on the beach, you're going to hear a lot of diversity of cultural music, mm -hmm. Brazilian music. We got Tio Chirinho with uh, Flavia Nascimento on July 20th and 21st. Dobek Nahore in the hall from Cote d'Ivoire from the Ivory Coast. She's really well-known African artist. A lot of folks won't be familiar with that genre of music, but she's the top of of that contemporary African music. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited to get here for fans of African music. Another group that I'm excited about that I think people are going to be blown away by is Making Movies. It's Latin Rock, and they're exploding. We sort of got them on the cusp. They're, I booked them literally right before they got booked to all these major festivals headlining and stuff, and we're getting them on our little beat stage there, so they're going to blow the pace place apart. Marina Krut is a Ukrainian singer who plays the bandura, which is, I don't know how many strings, like many, many stringed instrument. And she's just got a mesmerizing voice uh, and a Ukrainian artist from Ukraine who's come over here for a tour. So that's going to be very special mm. and beautiful. So um, that's on the final Sunday, the 21st. And the whole week wraps up or 10 days wraps up with Barney. Exactly. Barney's, yep. And as to, you know, can be expected because he's kind of the most, you know, familiar name mm -hmm. where those tickets are going pretty fast. So if you want to buy, if you want to get in on Barney Bentel, I'd recommend not to wait too long mm -hmm. because it'll probably sell out before the festival. So I jump on that. Yeah. And it'll be a nice, a great closer. So we're super excited. Children's Day. We always have our Children's Day on the Wednesday and it, it runs during the day on Maple Street, just outside of the Memorial Hall and in the Memorial Hall and sort of the surrounding grounds. And we take over that area. It's kind of a festival within a festival. We've got Bob's and Lolo, well-known children's act. When we had them before, a lot of kids came out. You know, they've had a, they had a show on TV and stuff, so they're well-known. But we've also got a circus performer, Cosmo Circus. We've got a couple of great young fiddlers uh, that that are coming as well. From they're called Twin Embers from from the Valley. So a lot of lively music. We have crafts. Uh, we're looking at probably having some face painting and a climbing wall, as always. The artisan market. It stretches along the waterfront. We've already had a great application of returning artisans, but also some new ones that we're excited about. There's going to be some wine tasting there, so that'll be that'll be nice. Art exhibit this year, the artisan, sorry, art exhibit is going to be a different one. It's going to be a very community-oriented project. It's 
actually China, like fine China. So where people are bringing from their own collections and what we're kind of interested in is the story behind them because China's connected with family, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's some interesting family histories some heirlooms and we're going to post those stories mm. so and we're going to have our in relation to that our opening reception is going to be a, a, a bit of a tea uh, like an english style tea so there's going to be goodies and tea so that'll be the opening exhibit uh, opening reception on the friday the 12th yeah so there you there you have it that's pretty much the week you know a lot of acts i haven't mentioned from estonia and from where else are we looking at from uh, the northern northern Canada? Uh, a lot of local performers as well. Quite a few this year. Vancouver-based. Uh, some great talent. Check out it at harrisonfestival.com.